Yeah, a couple of things on that. That that was significant, and I think it's really important. Um, let's be clear that the police departments don't do this out of the kindness of they, their hearts. They do it because of political pressure. So it's exactly these types of protests that we're seeing today. It's the independent journalists that are fighting for these things, make it politically hard for police departments not to um, put those things forward. I'd also want to point out that the, the Tulsa situation highlights a, a central problem with policing of black communities in particular, which is that they're trained to see noncompliance as escalation. So they ask you to do something. If you don't do it, then the police departments increase the, the use of force. Then, of course, they have to try to justify that use of force afterwards. The good thing about having these video uh, situations is that all of us can see for ourselves what really happened. Um, so my, I'm at this point now with the 193rd killing of a black man this year, where I am not inclined— The number again? 193, according to uh, The Guardian count. You know, the different pl people have different counts. It's amazing to me that nobody in America can tell me specifically how many black people have been killed by police officers. But after 193, I'm quite prepared not to believe uh, the police department narratives about anything that happened. And these investigations and high witness reports become